Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm uh, Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes, it is. Welcome or welcome back. Yes, indeed. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. It is Friday. It's uh, the weekend. It is. And it's due to be a, a weekend. It was a week. These short weeks that we have. Are deceptive. I know. We've had I like no. I know. I had like a four day week, then a three day week, then a four day week, a back to back with the holidays, and then going into Martin Luther King. So yeah, today was actually, um, it felt like a while since it was the last time we had a day off. It, I know it did. It felt it felt that way. I had yeah. taken Monday off too, so we mm -hmm. both had a day off. Yeah. And um, gosh, it seemed it, that seemed like a while it ago. Was a busy. We, it seems so long ago. We were just talking about this. I know. It seems like I, I was going over some old videos at Christmas time, and it seems like Christmas was like months and months and months I know. ago. It wasn't. Well, now that it's like, like kind of out weeks. of sight, it's kind of out of mind. Yeah, everything's out of sight. Yeah, right. Gone. Yeah, we got the tree. The they tree finally. Is yeah, we got, we had to wait. You know, for, for garbage to pick day it up. to come get and it. And so. there's nothing left. We did a little rearranging. We did the living room. Oh, it looks, it looks so, so much, much better. better. Nicer. I can't wait to show you guys too. More I, space. Yeah, just good stuff. Once good I stuff. get this room done, we're gonna do what well, we do a uh, an official apartment tour because we never really did. It'll when be, we moved in, we showed. It'll you be know. like a year after we moved. Here's what. Well, it took a while. It did. It took a we while. We moved and got married and like. And a then bunch the of holidays stuff. Like, hit. Like two months. Everything like, kind of. It kind of was put on hold. I yeah. mean, not like we don't have like unpa unpacked boxes, but like, I don't know. Everything was kind of put on hold. Yeah. It's little know, stuff that was so. left undone. Like I'm looking at a filing cabinet over there, which I know has all my stuff. In it, it has all your stuff in it. And it's garbage, but I just have to sit down with a bag and throw it out. So, yeah, I know. And it seems like a overwhelming, yeah, I, hard thing to do, but it's really not. I do have a new home office. My chair now has a file cabinet as an arm table. Mm -hmm. And right in the little nook behind that, I have the divider. Yeah. So I can sit my files in there and everything. Because the new job I'm taking on at work has a lot of paperwork. A oh, huge... we are so moving up in the world. You would never believe it. That yeah. We have furniture all placed, finally. Mm-hmm. Secondhand furniture, all uh, in play. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but no, yeah. it's start. It's it. I'm. Oh, I was waiting for this time. It's not because I, in the back of my head, this whole time, I'm like, oh gosh, this needs to go over there. That needs to go over there. That box needs to put that. The, you know, all of these. You know, and yeah. now I finally. There's nothing else that has to be done, like no. holidays and weddings and trips and stuff. No, we're like, good on holidays till Valentine's. Uh huh. So and there's. No more four day weeks for a while. No, they're not. Not until what? No, not even Easter. Yeah. What is it? Memorial Day? That's a long. That's a long day long off. Brickaboo, everybody. Thank you. He's here. <laughs> He's real shy. <laughs> He so, wants his little space. But, yeah, so, oh, yes, I like Friday Night Chit Chat, because we can just talk about whatever we want to talk about. It's usually <laughs> while, right now, waiting for the DoorDash guy. Oh, yes, we were. We, were so we, we tried a new place. Yeah, we tried a new restaurant I haven't tried before. I was in the mood for, when I get an eggplant parm. You did. Half hoagie you did. or something. You did. And then onion rings, because that's a vegetable. Yeah. So, we did kind of, like, uh, I don't know, not really junk foody, but, like, like pizza shoppy stuff today, but it yeah. but it, it's an actual restaurant though. We tried to do it, yeah. and I of all things, I got a grilled ham and cheese. I know we find I'll only eat from Italian restaurants. I know, but I love grilled ham and cheeses, and I haven't had one. I don't even know how long, and I'm like, oh wow, that looks good. So I'll fry an egg and put on it. It'll be great for mm -hmm. dinner. I'm oh, I'm, I'm excited yeah. about it. Plus, I made soups. We have that. I we have we have a lot of food here too. So yeah, we do. We have a lot to eat. So. And it's uh it's a nice chilly night. Chilly's the eat. word. Yeah, chilly is the word. Oh it's my god. Chilly. It's there is a chill in the air and chilly and damp. And yeah, like and it can wet. A flurry or sleet, like at yeah. any time. So there's the talk of very bad weather coming, but we'll see we'll what see. happens. I don't know. You know, it's only the people who want to have off work that talk about how bad the weather's going to be. Yeah, they're like monsoon. That's where I heard it. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> from the first person to call out when there's bad weather. Yeah, they start talking yeah. about it like the week oh, before. Oh yeah, I know. And I mean, I didn't really see too much on the weather. Weather, if you you know, no. but yeah, they were talking about it. But oh, it is. It is chilly. Like um, in this room here, where we film, we usually keep the heat down very low because we're never we're never in really here. in here 
a lot, and then we turn it up whenever we, you know, do a video. But mm -hmm. I tell you, I'm still chilly. I could go for a cup of coffee, I actually. Could too. You could too. Yeah. <gasps> In that room. Oh, guess what today is, oh, everybody? That's right. It is National Coffee Break Day. Did you even know there was a, a day like that? No one did. And it's been <laughs> around since 2005. How about that? I, I think we need to look more into this. It's National Coffee Break Day, and admittedly, I didn't even know that such a day existed. But it has, and it has since 2005. National Coffee Break Day, it was founded as a reminder that our two 15-minute coffee breaks a day, well, they're worth celebrating for sure. And it all started many years ago in a little town called Stelton. A small sign on a building proclaims, home of America's coffee break. The old coffee street sign is there as well. The coffee break began here in the late 1800s when Norwegian immigrants arrived in the Stoughton, Wisconsin area, attracted by the availability of work in the local wagon factory as well as the local tobacco warehouse. While the men were employed building wagons, the wives were asked to come to the tobacco warehouse to work sorting out tobacco leaves. Well, the women agreed as long as they could have a break in the morning and another in the afternoon to go home and tend to their children and to their chores. This also meant they were free to have a cup of coffee from the pot that was always hot on the stove. Well, the company agreed to these terms, and with this simple habit, the coffee break was born. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> now, 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 the term coffee break itself, well, that wasn't coined until the early 1950s with an ad campaign by the Pan American Coffee Bureau. Hmm. These ads make taking a coffee break very attractive and important too. And as coffee breaks continue to become the norm in American society, coffee carts and coffee stands made their way onto city streets. And of course, by the 1970s, companies like Pete's and Starbucks had made it even more delicious and more convenient to take a coffee break. And the coffee break spread across the world. In British culture, the idea of taking a mid-morning and mid-afternoon snack time became popular in the 19th century. Eventually, it turned into a morning tea or coffee break called Elevenses. This, of course, was because it would take place at 11 a.m. And in 1877, Germans began enjoying the Kaffleekech, the literal translation of which is coffee gossip, and it's a time for people to enjoy a cup of coffee, a piece of cake, and all the local gossip. And here's an interesting tidbit. In 1955, in an unusual court case against the owner of a weaving company, Phil Granite, the court decided that if mandatory coffee breaks were required, which they were in his company because he thought it made his employees much more productive, well, they had to be a paid break. So, are you wondering why a coffee break is so important? Well, according to the National Coffee Association, coffee is rich in antioxidants, and it's widely acknowledged as a preventative measure for, for Parkinson's disease, uh, mild depression, rectal cancer, even liver disease. Mm. And as far as the coffee break itself, well, that helps workers relax, be, be more motivated, more productive, and it helps a lot with morale and being social too, right? I mean, can't go wrong with any of that. So, hey, take some time today, take a break, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and raise awareness for the day. <laughs> Oh, 
this is hitting the switch. Just what I needed. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I'm rocking the decaf, but... You are. Yeah. And our mugs we are... Switched. We switched. Oh. How about that? Well, you can keep your... It's actually a little too hot. Let me let it cool off a little bit there. Okay. So wasn't that interesting? Uh, I, nothing I had known about. I, I had known either. I, I just like the, the backstory of it with the ladies and the... I, I, just, I, I don't know. So, of course, mm -hmm. I had to share it, right? <laughs> but let's see. So what's new? What's going on? Well, you've had some updates. Oh, well, yes. I know. If we want to talk about, like, medical stuff, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. yeah. So um, I think the last time I talked to you... Yes, last time I talked to you, I had just been to the rheumatologist and there was a change in my treatment. Well, I'm completely off the one medication, the Plaquenil, and I finished the Arava. February 1st will be my last dose. Mm -hmm. Now, this I found very interesting. I didn't tell you about this. Um, so my insurance company, my doctor, I don't know, my medical group, whatever, called me on the phone and scheduled me an appointment this Monday coming up at two o'clock for a Zoom interview about my new medication that I'm getting. Oh. Yeah. Now, I thought that was... It's uh, different. It's, it, it's good, it's cool and everything, but it doesn't it raise a little concern. Like... I need coached in how to take this medication. Well, some people need a lot of support to do things that maybe aren't super difficult for the average person. True, but do you have you to take a pill? I was going to say, do you have to dispense it another way? Is it an injectable? Unless it's or a the patch? injectable, right? I haven't found that out yet. I guess they'll go all over, you know go over that on Monday. Probably. Yeah. And it's I guess it's a pretty harsh, you know, the, it's Rinvoke, you know, and. Um, there are some side effects and stuff, but she thinks I'll tolerate it very well. I and not so. Anyway, I'm anxious. I'm totally willing to give it a try, but I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. And then I have a uh, another appointment on Wednesday for men's stuff. You know, I'm at that age, mm -hmm. and they realized that I had not had any prostate <laughs> screenings, like ever. And I'm over 50. Like, you didn't know. You know you well, haven't had any. I knew, but I'm not the <laughs> medical professional. I didn't know that you were supposed well, to their, get those Their recommendation was, yeah. Right, I didn't know any of that. None and of my doctors. Family, too. And it, my grandfather and my father both had prostate cancer. So, you know, have to get that done. Mm -hmm. I Fun times. Colonoscopy. My father had colon cancer. Mm -hmm. And he was very fortunate. Well, they had surgery. They cut out some stuff. But no chemo, no radiation. And yeah. he came out fine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm did. predisposed and have to get my colonoscopy 10 years earlier yeah. than everybody. Which is this year, actually. I think I'm 40. Mm -hmm. He was in his 50s. They said well, me. have fun with that. That's I hear they lace you up say. real good. Oh, that part's okay. But that's called a freebie in the world of addiction. It is. <laughs> But it's really not a good prep. Well, you the went prep through it with me. The oh, prep is terrible, horrible. I, no. you know, there has. Well, I don't know how else they would do it, but that—that's just no. when you have to drink an entire bottle of Metamucil. I mean, like, come yeah. on, or no, Miralax, Miralax. Yeah, the whole thing of Miralax. Oh and my the gosh, and... that was just. I and had, I have to get another one this year too. I, don't I had the upper GI. I had to chug two bottles of Maalox laced with barium. Like, like, because I want to explode. Yeah. Um, and guzzle those two. Yeah. One half an hour before, one right before getting on the table. And yeah. then, you know, they said, oh, it'll flush itself out. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have a uh, eye specialist appointment uh, as well. The medication I'm on, my eyes have to be monitored. Mm -hmm. And been having a little issues with those. So we'll see. We'll get to, the, you know, figure out. I don't even know what he's called. It's the eye specialist. The one who did... The surgery, the like, I did. The I'll cute one with the soul patch. Yes, I forget his name. He's so cute. Um, I know he's like younger than us. An I ophthalmologist? Like... No. Uh, an eye surgeon? I don't know. Anyway, the yeah. eye specialist that's coming up too. So basically, that's it. There wasn't really news. Like nothing mm -hmm. really changed. But I, I have noticed a difference since I stopped taking the Plaquenil, and I don't know if it's in my head or not. But I had a couple bad days this week where not you know crippling or anything like that. But boy. Boy, did I notice it. The swelling, like, look at my hand. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, come on, really? <laughs> Isn't it enough yet? I know, I know. Yet? But really, that's about it for medical with me. Yeah. Well, I've been having a mental health extravaganza. Yes, it has. With days being chopped up, all my duties at work have been completely rewritten. I'm starting two new positions that I know very little. I know a lot about one and a little about the other. 
And then I'm also teaching mental health first aid um, for to police, mm -hmm. which is fun. I have to do that Monday. But there was drama at work because it's in a department I don't work in to go do those trainings. And they're rightfully protective of their staff in my department. Mm -hmm. So if you get some direction that didn't come through them first, they're like, who said that? Uh -huh. Copy me on that email. Forward me what they said mm -hmm. to set the precedent early because I'm essentially like assisting in these trainings. I'm not doing all the, the grading and the, and the paperwork and all that other crap. I come in, I present, and I leave. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to dump some of the work. All of that on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Two hours before, like at 2.30 on a Friday, from I have to be there at 7 in the morning on <gasps> Monday. Well, actually, I can go closer to 8. And it's like, what, an hour drive? It's not as bad as I thought. It's, um, what is it? It's Wyoming County. It's one of the adjacent counties to ours. It's a very rural. Yeah, very rural. rural yeah. But they're a good group. They lighten up. You think it would be intimidating. But yeah. It's not. And I've had previous police interactions, so um, yeah. I have that perspective for them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to offer that, because I I've, I've, was on the receiving end of some CIT officers coming, mm -hmm. and it was so much better than it could have been. You know, I was having a hard time, and we requested CIT police to come do a little assessment. Yeah. And they were so friendly, they were... so polite, didn't treat me like I was crazy, didn't treat me like no, I was they didn't. dumb, yeah. and took very good care of me for their mm -hmm. part of it. So I, the training helps kind of bring that to the community. Yes. You know. I agree. Yeah. So it that's does. A, it's a good thing. It's an important thing. But it's no wonder you've been having a, you know, like, well, some mental health issues recently. Like, your entire job has just been turned upside down. Yeah, I mean, you new. have so yeah, many new The contract on my last job ended yeah. like a month and a half ago, and now I'm stepping into one spot. I know the job pretty well. Mm -hmm. It's just the record keeping that I need help with. Um, not help, like, organization with. Because, like, this, it's one of those ones where there's a ton of paperwork and it all has to be tracked and it has to go through these hands to these hands to these hands and, and this way and that way. So um, it's challenging because it's not the kind of work I did. I worked mostly with people. Mm -hmm. Now this will be more mm -hmm. back of the house stuff. Yeah. Um, and of course, our, our drop-in center, which we all take a turn being. Yeah, you do that too. We take a turn running that too. Yeah. And then our mental health justice projects where people can talk to the lawyer. And then it just you have a lot of advocacy different calls. things that you do. You yeah, know, there's not you, it's just, always... you don't have a job description like you have yeah. like all these different. I mean, I do too at work, but it's all in ca like it's all for the same outcome. You yeah. know, like I don't know. You know, yeah, these are, just... are like across the board and very different things and yeah. all new too. So it's yeah. a little jarring. There, I don't you have know? like my biggest block that I have with all of these services. I never went to school for them. I never studied them. I had no particular interest in like where the money starts and then it goes this way and this way and this way and this way. And then you can apply for it, but that's federal, but that's state. But are you mm -hmm. a nonprofit? Mm -hmm. Well, are you a private institution or Republican? And yeah. so there's all that stuff that comes with it. And I didn't know like where the money goes from here to there. That was a very sharp learning yeah. curve. Very sharp. Mm -hmm. So um, new duties, excited going forward. I am sick of having stomach aches every morning, though. I've had a stomach ache every morning since I was in second grade. It doesn't matter if morning was noon, either. Um, the only times I didn't feel like that is when I woke up still drunk. Yeah. And it's it's a lot. I, I'm 40, as you know, so I hit my midlife crisis. I was like, this is it. This ends now. I either find a way to deal with the stomach aches or I quit everything that causes them. Yeah. Because something isn't... Yeah. Working. I'm not doing well in the middle of those. Yeah. And things. I support you completely in that. It, you know, to, 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 if it reaches that point, I get you because that, those are the two options. Yeah. You know, it, it's, that it's just the way that it is. You it can't is. continue on being sick every morning. You can't continue on being stressed out. Like uh, it, 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 that's not living, you know. No, it's Other not. people might be able to deal with it in different ways. I, you know, I don't know. The thing is, though, I'm, I, I can go through the motions now, but it starts to pile up after a mm -hmm. while, and it just continues, and you start to accept some unfun part of your day as just natural. Like, yeah. oh, I'm just prone to stomach aches. Yeah. But they're all psychological. I'm not sick. I haven't had a stomach ailment. Right, no. I skirted COVID without a stomach ailment. Right, right. So... But it's more about just getting into the groove of things, just accepting change, yeah. taking deep breaths. Mm -hmm. I have a ton of support at work from my leadership there and colleagues. Um, so it's not that. And the CEO did our wedding. So he'd be great. Yeah. He did do our... Yeah. It was real bad to fire me right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
So anyway, yeah. that, you know. So that you start good. your week, you know, but it's usually not a couple weeks in a row. Yes. And that brings us to, speaking of breaks, we uh, finally mm -hmm. made a decision on yes. our break. Uh -huh. We did. I mean, I know. After we some soul searching. We kept pushing it off and pushing it off. Yeah. But. So this is what we're going to do for the next week. Uh, we are going to take some time off in lieu of like all the appointments next week and stuff coming up it's just yeah. best i think that we do that and we like to take a few days off in january sometime just to kind of regroup and yeah. see if we want to um, do anything different with it yeah oh, so like we'll be here uh see if we'll be here tomorrow for coffee, for talk. coffee talk i'll be here yes yeah. but we will not be having our live on sunday but in its place we have a really cool video for you too that we're working on it's mm -hmm. the lunar new year oh the lunar new year this yes. is the video on so um we'll either have that video up Sunday in place of our live stream or worst case scenario Monday for Mondays with Mark but then that will be it then and we'll be returning the following Friday we'll be back Friday then and when we come back it'll be all new refreshed we'll have a new intro new yeah. outro new backdrop new look that's the plan anyway we'll so we'll so see. anyway yes we'll be here tomorrow Mm -hmm. And then we'll have one more video after that, and then we'll we'll have some time off. Now our time off, we we still have some shorts to put up, and yeah, you know, we'll, be we'll still be on social board. media you know, and all that. Yeah. Blackout. If anything no. cool happens, we'll take a picture and post it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but it's a know. break from filming. Yeah, so. a break from filming is what it is. So, yeah. um, so we'll be back on Friday, a week from today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have so all wanted to say, I'm mostly excited. They came. We got our microphones. microphones. I can't wait to try them out. I'm extremely excited to try these for like when we do the voiceovers, like the the one we did earlier. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's gonna make a difference. I hope. I've never used microphones before. Like we're just like you know we're not real technical people. Like you know. Nah. Um, but for this. they're plug and play. You just kind of plug them in, and they just clip on you. So it, it should should help. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it should help. I don't know. And finally work on this lighting situation. Yes, we've had a number of combinations. All different, different combinations with the lighting and it still seems to be having bright. a trouble like like focusing on dark stuff. I'm yeah, not like when certain it's, why. When it's dark in here or dim in here, all of a sudden it's like blurry. It's like, yeah, everything's blurry. Yeah, it's strange. Like, but if you put the overhead on completely with the two other lights, it's whew! like you know, it's fried chicken under right, the lamp. Like we're so bright, right? To me, it seems like we're way too bright. But, you know, so we're going to adjust all that this week. It's you know? time to sort it out. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and we have a, f a couple like fun new segments and stuff. So mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty stoked about, about, about it. Oh yeah, I like. Well, you know me, I always like. like I'm big on the backdrops. I enjoy doing those. Yeah, you know, and uh, and we've had like. I just throw curtains out, like the much. construction side up because, and then I'm like, I'm so sick of that. So I just throw curtains up, you know, just for a different look. Mm -hmm. But so that's that. And um, I don't think I have anything else to share or show you. I, don't think I, mean, I was like looking forward to talking to you guys tonight all night. And now I can't think of anything new or exciting that's happened. Mm -hmm. Well, we covered a lot of it. We did. We did. Yeah. I think we did. And there's more new and exciting stuff when we come back. Oh, also. yeah. Yeah, I know. And I want to give everything away, it. but I'm not, I won't. I won't do that. I don't. But we are planning a really fun video for, for the Lunar New Year. Mm -hmm. it's, I, I'm, we're going to cook some stuff. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. So Good. keep an eye out for that either Sunday or Monday. I'm really aiming for Sunday because I... Because then there's like a day in between. And then we're yeah. like off but not off. And, yeah. We so. actually have a couple things to do Sunday, too. Well, we're... We have have a visit but then we have another inspection y'all we're gonna make a point to tell you every time we have an inspection yeah. just so you know we're not like like exaggerating or anything no. you know where they come in and view the apartment because they're thinking of buying the building yeah that's what they call an inspection yeah whatever the owners were like, oh, you're so accommodating. Thank you so, so, so much. Reduce the rent. Yeah, how about if that? If I'm going to help you sell the place I'm living, I want to cut. Right? <laughs> right? I know. It <laughs> seems only fair. I know, I know, right. Well, that's all she wrote. That's all she I wrote, think, while yes. We, between these two clips, the Uberman came with the food. Uber so when you guys were here. Check, when you guys were into coffee, we were... At the door getting food. Yeah. Um, I mean, we would show too. you, but I mean, it's the sandwiches. I mean, yeah. I got an eggplant sub and some onion rings. And I got a ham and cheese. Hot ham and cheese. <laughs> Why did we even order from an Italian place? Well, I guess the parm, they would have. 
We yeah, were from one place, and by the time I got to place the order, it said, oh, we're not taking any. The restaurant's not accepting them right now. Yeah, it said, it place here, your order for later. And I'm thinking, okay, so a couple hours. Overflown yeah. with money and resources, all these small businesses. It must businesses. be nice to be able to turn, turn away it work. Down. Right, yeah. and then they're like, you know, we'll schedule it for another time. And like, I, I want was this thinking, tomorrow at noon. I know. Well, like, no, I was thinking, okay, we have to wait an hour or two. We don't need to wait anyway. No, it's like the tomorrow. <laughs> you can check. like what the heck? Never heard at any of rate, it. it's here. But anyway, it's here. Yeah. Why not the evening? Yeah, Friday night. So. Uh, well, thank you all for being here. Yes. And joining us. It was a lot of stuff to shove into 25, 30 minutes. But thank you for indulging us with it. Yeah. And thank you all for watching. Uh, please do subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and when we go live. Um, we're on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark. Or on Instagram at Smokey mm -hmm. Steve and Mark. Email, contact info. It's all in the description. Thank you, and I will catch up with you tomorrow for One Miss Foodie Beauty. Oh, yes. Yes, we will. Oh, man. What an interesting week. I don't even know if interesting is the right word for it. What but a lying sack. Well, we'll talk tomorrow. There we go. We'll yeah, talk we'll tomorrow. talk tomorrow. And then keep an eye out for our uh, for our Lunar New Year video on Sunday, and then we won't be seeing you until Friday. Bye. So thank you again, everybody. It was great spending time with you. You have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next time. Ciao, everybody! <laughs> now let's try and make it.